Hello, my name is George Anderson. I am a member of Tame Speakers and last year I won the Division J speech contest and participated in the District 91 finals last May. When it comes to the secret of what I believe was the reason that I won the Division J speech contest, I don't think that there's a, a particular secret to it, but certainly some of the things that uh, I would say contributed to the success in that particular contest um, was the balance between rehearsal and off-the-cuff speaking. I think when we speak at clubs, often it's not too rehearsed. We maybe spend a bit of time working on a project, but there's a lot of different forays into different areas, and we probably don't ever give the same speech the same speech twice. Whereas in a contest, it needs to be so tight to time, but equally it can't feel too scripted. And certainly finding that balance uh, was one of the challenges that I spent a lot of time trying to overcome. And the way I did that was by having a framework and some very specific areas and stories that I wanted to share. But then I would just allow myself to go off and share those things and tell those stories in a, a, a hopefully a, a more natural way. And I think that was possibly one of the ingredients in the successful outcome. I highly recommend anybody, any Toastmaster, to get involved in the international speech contest if you're eligible or any of the other contests for that matter, because it just raises your game. It, it puts you into a situation where there's no, that's not necessarily any extra pressure, but it certainly challenges you to, to, be, to bring out the best of yourself. And of course, that doesn't always happen on the day, but the process is so much more valuable than any possible outcome. Certainly that's been my experience. Um, it's a very different kind of challenge with, with take the speech contest as the example here. Uh, it, it encourages you to focus on particular aspects of presenting. In, in particular, what I just mentioned a moment ago about getting this balance between rehearsal and not being too scripted, so that more relaxed, authentic style of um, speaking. But it also challenges your writing and speech craft in terms of the way you structure your talk, uh, including more stories, including um, more uh, the power of three, which as we all know as Toastmasters is so important, you can't have a speech that doesn't have three of something in it, um, even if that is just the beginning, a middle and a, an end. But the structure of the speech becomes even more important when you push yourself to the uh, international speech contest at club level and area and uh, division and uh, district and, and maybe even beyond. For me, my, my next challenge is, of course, the International Speech Contest 2022, and I'll be taking part at my club level in just a few weeks' time. Um, and uh, But I'm also really continuing my own journey now onto the next chapter of my, my own uh, professional speaking career, of which Toastmasters has been an absolutely integral part, uh, and uh, that's now a big part of what I do um, is uh, for a living and uh, it's it's absolutely fantastic to have the opportunities at Toastmasters for me to to practice and test out some new techniques um, that I then get to use in um, paid speaking engagements and uh, get to do what I, I love to do and also get paid for it at the same time. So that is a big challenge for me in 2022 as well but uh, I'm very much committed to the, uh, the, the pathways and also the, the the competition journeys within Toastmasters as well.